to use blocks during this practice. If you don't have blocks, you can stack some books. That'll do just fine. Place the blocks just to the top of your mat for now. And then go ahead and lie down. We'll begin reclined. You can keep the soles of your feet on the mat. Bring the knees up. You could even allow the knees to fall into center and rest on each other. You might walk the feet out a little bit wider. Shift the shoulders down to relax. Choose to either relax your arms down by your sides, or maybe you bring your hands to your belly, paying attention to your breath. Begin to warm up the body by taking nice, long breaths. See if you can inhale and exhale through the nose, lengthening out the breath. Pay attention to the sound created by your breath. You might choose to slightly exaggerate that sound. Bring your lips to touch. Slightly constrict the back of your throat. Feel as though you're sipping air through a straw with your mouth closed. Feel that sense of fogging up a mirror with your breath on your exhale. Again, with the mouth closed. This slight sound we create with our ujjayi, or victorious breath, helps us to keep our focus on our breathing, to keep our concentration on those inhales and exhales, to stay connected, to let go of distractions. you to count just three more cycles of breath here before we begin to move. Staying with that nice, smooth, even breath. Maybe begin to walk your feet towards each other. If it feels okay in your body, bring the soles of the feet together with the knees out wide, butterfly legs. You could bring the feet further away from the pelvis to create a larger diamond shape between the legs. You can hug the heels in nice and close if that feels better. Allow the knees to fall heavy, legs relax. And then maybe you reach your arms overhead. On your inhales, feel as though you're reaching. Maybe you hover the arms, spread the fingers wide. And with your exhales, soften, relax the arms down, overhead. Do this a few times with your breath, reaching and extending as you breathe in. Softening, letting go as you breathe out. Maybe just 
just one more time, reaching, lengthening. Softening to let go, exhale it out. Relax your arms down along the sides of your body. Bring your hands to the outsides of the legs or out to the knees and guide your knees back to center. Feel the soles of the feet resting on the mat. And then either one at a time or both at the same time without, try not to use your hands or your arms here. Use the strength of your core muscles, draw your knees in towards your chest. Stack your knees over your hips and just gently rock side to side. Try to bring the shins parallel to the mat. It could be a gentle circular motion. You could softly rock side to side. And you could stay just like this, just gently swaying side to side if you want to take it a bit further. Stack those knees over the hips. Engage your abdominal muscles, bring your attention to that space below your belly button. Reach your arms out wide, press your palms down into the floor, pressing your shoulders back. And on an exhale, gently sway over to the right with those knees. Inhale back to center. And exhale over to the left. And again, you don't have to come too far down. Can be a gentle sway side to side, or you could work on lowering the knees further down towards the floor. Remaining in control of this movement, guided by your breath. Pressing the arms, the palms of the hands down to feel that sense of control. Maybe just one more time on each side. Back to center. And then hug the knees further in towards the chest. Bring the hands onto the knees or shins. And start to make circles with the knees coming out and away from each other. And then back close together for egg beater pose. Notice if your big toes are touching or if your feet are coming apart. Just become aware of how your body is moving. Back to center and gently rock side to side. Now we'll work on a challenge here. I'll invite you to start to rock back and forth to each side of the spine. If this is not right for your body today, you can make your way up another way. I'm gonna see if we can come all the way up to standing, rocking back and forth until it feels right. Maybe you come up to seated for a moment and rock all the way back. You can straighten the legs as you come back down. Take your time, eventually get enough momentum, rock all the way up onto your feet. Good. Reach all the way up as you stand up, breathe in, and exhale your hands in front of your heart. Root down evenly through your feet, strong through the legs, keep a little bend in the knees, maybe bounce a little bit here, and with an inhale, reach up. And exhale, dive forward and down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend into the knees, plant the hands. Take a giant step back with your left foot. Pause for a moment. Runner's lunge. Sink those hips forward and down towards the mat. You have a little bend in that back knee. You can be still. You can bring a little movement in. Again, you can be using your blocks if the mat feels far away. 
when you're ready, plant those hands, step the right foot back to meet the left, come right to downward facing dog here. Bring movement in, pedal out the feet, bend into one knee at a time, sending the hips up nice and high, keep lengthening your breath. Draw your right knee in towards your chest and step your right foot through. Then rock back and forth, step your left foot forward to meet the right, forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, lengthen, crown of the head reaching forward and exhale to your fold. Root to rise, inhale to stand, rise up. And exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach, big circle with the arms. Exhale, dive forward and down. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, bend into the knees, giant step back with the right foot this time. Take a moment in that runner's lunge, bend into the front knee, sink the hips low. Feel that right heel reaching back. Support your body any way you need to today. You can even bring that back knee down. And then go ahead, bring the hands flat on the mat. Step that left foot back to meet the right down dog. Take a moment. Lift that left leg up and back. Look forward between your hands. Draw that left knee in. Step the left foot through. Rock back and forth. And step that right foot forward to meet the left. Forward fold. Trying to straighten those legs just a little bit more. Notice the length of your spine here. Top of the head reaches towards the floor. Use an inhale to lengthen out, flat back, breathe in, exhale, fold. Root down through your feet, little bend in the knees, rise all the way up to standing, reach your arms up. Exhale your hands in front of your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive forward and down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, giant step back with the left foot, followed by the right. Come to plank pose this time. Shoulders above the wrists, heels reaching back. Lift those hips up nice and high in line with the shoulders, with the heels. You can lower the knees or from here, bend into the arms, lower the chest, elbows hug into the body. And inhale up to your back bend, cobra or upward facing dog if it's in your practice. And exhale back downward facing dog. Lift that right leg up and back, flex that right foot. Feels like you're going to plant the sole of the right foot on the wall behind you. Keep that left heel pressing or reaching down towards the mat. Nice deep inhale on your exhale, step that right foot forward. Turn your left toes out to the left side of your mat, plant your left foot flat. You might shorten your stance here. We're coming to warrior one. Straight line from heel to heel, right toes facing forward, bend into the front knee, lift the torso, reach your arms up. Press that right shin forward. Hook the thumbs with the palms facing forward. Maybe you look up here, add in just a little back bend. One more nice deep inhale, breathe in. 
and exhale, hands down to the mat. Lift that back heel, bring the weight into that right foot. See if you can keep that left leg lifted. Maybe take a hold of those blocks coming into variation of standing split. Fingertips can be down to the floor, hands can be on the floor, hands can be on blocks or books. Chest coming down towards that right thigh. Maybe you're looking back towards that left foot. Inhale here and exhale, left foot down beside the right. Forward fold. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, inhale to stand. Exhale, press those palms together in front of the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive down, lead with the chest. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, giant step back with that right foot, followed by the left to come to plank. Nice and strong here, knees can be down. Don't feel as though you're sinking through the shoulders, keep lifting there. Crown of the head reaching forward, soft gaze. Draw your navel in towards your back. Super strong through the legs, press those heels back. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale to lower down. Take your time. Inhale to cobra, up dog. Press the mat away from you in upward facing dog. And exhale back to down dog. Lift that left leg up and back. Flex the left foot. Look forward between your hands. Step that left foot through. Shorten your stance. Bring that right foot in a little bit closer. Right toes pointing to the top right corner of your mat. Bend into the front knee. Lift up. Reach up. Warrior one. Front knee over the ankle. Adjust your stance so that you can press all parts of the feet, of both feet, down into the mat. Feel that left hip pulling back, right hip pulling forward to square the hips towards the front. Hook the thumbs together, palms turn forward. Maybe you bring your gaze up, maybe you lean back just slightly, pressing the shoulders back. Steady your breath, take a nice inhale here. And exhale, float the hands down to the mat. You could take a hold of those blocks, bringing the weight into that left foot. Kick that right leg up and back. Try to allow the head to hang heavy here. Kicking that right leg up, up, up. With an exhale, right foot comes down beside the left. Take a moment, forward fold. You might grab opposite elbows here. Gently rock side to side. Back to center, releasing the bind. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root down through your feet, little bend in the knees. Inhale, all the way up to stand. Reach up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. We'll find a balance here. Root down through that right foot. Bend into the left knee. Reach your arms up, flex that left foot. Might bring a little bend into that right knee as well. We'll move through this a few times. Inhale here, exhale. Touch just those tiptoes, 
of that left foot down back behind you, reach the arms back, then inhale all the way back up. Exhaling down almost as if you're coming into a lunge, just with those tiptoes, bend into that front knee, then come all the way up. Three more times, exhaling back and down, inhaling forward to that balance. And then crossing that left leg over the right at the top of your mat, squeeze those thighs together, reach the arms out wide. Then wrap that left arm under the right. Either give yourself a nice big hug here, or you can find eagle arms, forearms might touch, palms of the hands could hook the thumbs, backs of the hands might be touching. Many, many variations here. Squeeze those thighs together, sink your hips low, lift through the elbows. Then inhale, untangle, come to standing and extend that left leg back. You can take a hold of those blocks to help with your balance. Or you could be working on warrior three with the arms extended wide into airplane. Arms could come along the sides of your body. Reach forward, hands to heart center, lots of options here. And as we come out of this warrior three, we'll bend into that right knee and step that left foot all the way back. Inhale, reach up, high lunge. And exhale, bring those hands down to the mat. Step your right foot back to meet your left plank pose. You can take rest if you need it. Inhale in your plank and exhale to lower. Inhale to your back bend, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. If you'd like to, take a nice deep inhale in through your nose and exhale, release it out your mouth, let it go. Continue to take long, slow breaths, noticing the heat building in your body. Slowing your heart rate with those long, slow breaths. In and out through the nose. If every once in a while you feel like you'd like to let it go, side out the mouth, please do so. Then from down dog, lift that right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Inhale here and exhale. Come forward to plank as you draw that right knee in towards the chest. Come to center. Inhale all the way up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale out wide. Bring that right knee towards the right elbow in your plank and inhale all the way up and back. Then exhale to twist, right knee to left elbow. Inhale all the way back up. Then exhale, step that right foot forward, come to high lunge, reach up. Inhale here, straighten that front leg, turn and plant that back foot, warrior two. Place that front heel in line with the center of your back foot. Reach those arms out wide. And we'll come to Dancing Warrior. Turn that right palm up. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Left hand gently rests. Breathe in. Exhale, bend into that front arm, forearm or elbow to the top of the right thigh. Reach that left arm either straight up or bring the bicep over the ear. Extended side angle pose will flow between these two postures. Inhale all the way back, peaceful warrior. Keep a bend in the front knee. And exhale, extended side angle, reaching forward or up. All the way back, inhale. And exhale forward. One more time. Find warrior two, reach the arms out wide. Straighten that front leg. 
Start to hinge at the hips, reach forward as far as you can, looking over those right fingertips. And then bring that right hand down, it can come to your right shin, the fingertips might come to the mat, or you could take a hold of your block. Reach that left arm up, turning your chest towards the left. Maybe your gaze is down to your mat to help with your balance. Maybe you're looking to the side or challenging your balance by looking up towards the ceiling or towards that left thumb. Maybe you have a micro bend in that right knee if this feels too intense. We'll begin to release here, bring that left hand down as you bend into that right knee, find a runner's lunge. You'll get enough momentum rocking the hips back and forth. Step that left foot forward to meet the right. Forward fold. Take some nice, long, slow breaths here. You can have a bind. You can allow the arms to hang. You could be still. You could gently rock side to side. You could come up to standing, take a sip of water, take a moment, listen to your body. When you're ready, root down through those feet, come back to center and inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, inhale to stand, reach up. Exhale your hands to your heart. Finding that balance on the second side. You'll root down through that left foot this time, bend into the right knee, flex that right foot, and reach those arms up. Moving through this a few times, bring a little bend into that left knee and start to shift back almost into that lunge on an exhale. Then inhale all the way up to that balance. Three more times. Exhaling back, reaching back. Inhale up. And on that last time, stay lifted at the top of your mat, balance, then cross that right leg over the left, squeeze those thighs together, reach the arms out wide, then wrap that right arm under the left eagle pose. You don't have to take eagle arms, you could find that hug through the arms. Sink those hips back as if you're sitting back into chair pose. Squeeze the thighs, feel a sense of lifting through the fingertips if you have those eagle arms. We're not, trying not to round through the back, feel a sense of lifting through the top of the head as well. And then begin to untangle. Maybe reach the arms out wide, extend that right leg up and back. Warrior three. Choose your arm variation. Those fingertips can come down to the blocks, to your books. Bend into that left knee, step that right foot all the way back to come into high lunge, reach the arms up. Inhale here, exhale, hands down to the mat. Step your left foot back to meet the right and either rest or vinyasa. Plank pose, feeling strong, breathe in and exhale, lower down, hover. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra if your belly's down on the mat. And exhale, back down dog. If you'd like to, take a nice deep inhale in through your nose and exhale, release out your mouth.
stay connected. Notice the breath moving through your body. Remain in control. Lift that left leg up and back. Three-legged dog. With an exhale, draw that left knee in towards your chest as you come forward to plank. Empty out. Inhale, up and back. Three-legged dog. Exhale to come wide. Inhale, up and back. Exhale to twist. Inhale, up and back. This time, step that left foot forward between your hands. Reach up, high lunge. Inhale, straighten the front leg, lift up. Exhale, turn and plant that back foot parallel to the short edge of your mat, warrior two. Take a moment to adjust here. Turn your left palm up towards the ceiling, reach your left arm up, right hand slides down the right leg. Inhale here and exhale, rest that left forearm or elbow on the top of the left thigh, reach the right arm either straight up or forward. And we'll flow a few times here. Inhale all the way back, peaceful warrior. And exhale, extended side angle. Inhale all the way back. Exhale, side angle pose. One more time, keep that bend in the front knee. And exhale down. Then return to warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Start to reach forward through those left fingertips. Bring that left hand down to the shin, the mat or a block, and reach your right arm up. Turn your chest to the right. Try to create a straight line from wrist to wrist. Triangle pose. Feel the crown of your head lifting towards the front of the room, towards the top of your mat. Bring a bend into that front knee, lower that right hand down, runner's lunge. Then step your right foot forward to meet the left top of your mat. Super, super slowly. Notice your breath. And begin to rise to standing, moving in a totally unhurried way. Allowing one part of the spine at a time to roll up. Head comes up last. When you're standing, roll those shoulders back. Take a few nice breaths here. to about halfway on your mat. You might bring your blocks along with you. You might bring a pillow or a cushion close by to bring in front of you if you'd like to. If you'd like to use those blocks, just place them back behind you. We don't want need them right away. Heel toe your feet out wide to about as wide as your mat. Inhale, reach your arms up. 
and exhale, bend into the knees, sink the hips. We'll do this a few times. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, sinking into yoga squat. Rise all the way up once more. And exhale, settle in. You can continue to lift and lower and flow. Or you could settle into that yoga squat. You could be sitting on your blocks. Or your books, if you've stacked enough books. Maybe your elbows are pressing into your knee, the insides of your knees with your hands to heart center, pressing the palms together. Try not to shrug your shoulders. When you're ready, you can come back to standing, or you can place the hands forward. We'll play around, hopefully have a little bit of fun with crow pose today. You'll want downward facing dog hands, so spreading your fingers wide, pressing the palms of your hands down into the mat, gripping the mat with your fingertips. If you're looking for that height, you'll you can. Walk your feet onto a block or two. Get your knees up nice and high to the backs of your arms. You'll want to keep looking forward in front of your mat or slightly up. If you tuck your chin, you may roll. If you have a pillow or a cushion in front of you, might help with your confidence and if you fall that's okay it's only yoga so start to lift you want to feel a sense of pressing up and maybe you lift one foot maybe you lift both take your time play around Just for a moment, feel that strength, press your mat away. When you're finished, take a few moments to breathe. And I'll invite you to make your way to seated on your mat. Bring the soles of your feet on your mat, your feet about hip width distance apart, knees up. Bring your hands to your shins or your knees. Sitting up tall, press your chest towards your thighs. Take a nice deep inhale, maybe tilt the head back. On your exhale, pull away from your legs, round through your back, tuck your chin in. So a cat-cow movement from seated, inhale, shoulders back, maybe you look up. And exhale, round, tuck your chin in. Move with your breath. Good work coming back. Seated. We'll swing the legs around. Come to tabletop pose. Come onto your hands and knees. Take a moment and just rock your hips side to side. Make circles with the hips, coming back towards the heels and then forward. Moving in both directions. And from here, you can 
Move right from here, from tabletop, or you could come back to down dog. You're gonna slide your right knee up towards your right wrist and wiggle your right foot in front of your left leg. And then extend that left leg all the way back if pigeon pose is in your practice. If not, you can definitely come to swan pose or mermaid legs, keeping both legs bent. You could sit over on your right side and begin to lower from here. If you're coming to pigeon, you wanna to try to keep those hips squared forward. If you can wiggle that right foot so that your shin, your right shin is parallel or almost parallel with the top of your mat, even better. Extend that left leg back, gaze back to make sure it's straight, relax that left foot. You can stay up on your fingertips or you could come down onto the palms of the hands you could begin to melt forward, coming down onto the forearms. Or maybe even bringing the elbows out wide, stacking the hands. If you have a pillow or a cushion, a block, a bolster, something, something to rest your head on, go ahead and use that. Get comfortable enough in this pose. Find that moderate stretch without feeling pain and count five full cycles of breath. Take your time, move super slowly, never rushing out of a pose. If you've lowered your chest forward, start to come back onto the forearms, onto the hands to lift. Curl those back toes under, bring that left knee in closer. And choose to either come back to tabletop pose, swing that right knee back, bend it beside the left, or you can tuck those left toes and lift yourself all the way up and back to a three-legged dog. And no matter where, whether you're in tabletop or down dog, lift that right knee, maybe make circles, bring some movement in. your way back to where you started, whether you came in on the first side of your pigeon to tabletop or down dog, do the same. And then slide your left knee up towards your left wrist, wiggle your left foot in front of your right leg, and start to adjust to come into the second side of your pigeon pose, extending that right leg long, looking back, making sure that it's straight, relaxing that right foot. Maybe you're trying to place that left shin parallel to the short edge of your mat. If that left foot is coming back towards your right thigh or your right hip, that's okay too. Just doing your best to feel as though you're pressing that left hip back and your right hip forward to square the hips as best you can. Maybe taking a nice deep inhale up on your fingertips and then slowly beginning to lower if you're lowering down. Settle in and count five full cycles of breath here.
super slowly begin to bring the weight back into your forearms, into your hands, lifting the chest, and preparing to slide back into either tabletop or three-legged dog. Bring that right knee in a little bit closer, tuck those right toes under, downward facing dog hands, press into the mat, then lift up and back, either three-legged dog or tabletop, bend into that left knee, start to make those circles. Take your time lowering back down, maybe taking a nice long stretch in down dog. One last time for this practice. Then lowering the knees down to the mat. Take your hips back to your heels, find child's pose. Adjust the arms to where they feel best, maybe reaching forward, maybe relaxing along the sides of your body. Gently rock your head side to side here. Encouraging relaxation. Slowing things down. Move when you're ready to come up and over onto your back to recline. Extend the legs if that's what feels best for your resting pose. Relax your arms down by your sides, turning the palms up towards the sky. Soften your facial muscles, close your eyes. Take a scan of your body from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. Encouraging relaxation, softness, sense of letting go. Return to your natural breath. Staying anchored in the present by still paying attention to those soft inhales and exhales. But allowing those to come however they want to. Take rest. And from here, I'll say thank you for joining me in this practice today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care, take rest. Namaste.